In addition to consumer surplus, we can also find out the producer surplus and social surplus by using the integrals. Let us see how we can do this. So we are going to resort to a numerical example that is the inverse demand function is given and we are also given the inverse supply function. So we are to find out the total surplus for which we need to find out the producer surplus. So let us uh, consider the equilibrium output and for that what we have done is we have equated the two equations that is QD and QS because this will allow us to have the equilibrium output which is Q star is 50 in this case and which is price that is 30 uh, equilibrium price which is represented by P star is. So you can do this simple calculation on the basis of algebra and the basics of equilibrium of, uh, of demand supply in a certain market. This is the diagrammatical depiction of this graph that we have just developed. The demand function and the supply functions, both of them are there. The consumer surplus is here highlighted and this is the producer surplus highlighted in a horizontal lined way. So we have this thing, uh, this equilibrium situation that we have plotted here and now we can see it's another form which now we are trying to uh, zoom out a little bit on. You can see that this uh, is a more elaborated form of the given equilibrium. We have the consumer surplus, we have the producer surplus, both of them they are there. And we are to find out the producer surplus primarily. Let us see how we can do this. So underneath this diagram we are explaining that this is the consumer surplus. This would be the upper triangle in the set of triangles that we had. And the producer surplus is the lower triangle. Let us go back and see the upper triangle and the lower triangle based on the equilibrium value. And uh, to find out the consumer surplus, we can use the tri area of triangle formula, which is that we can multiply half with the base and the altitude. And if we do this, we will get the consumer surplus, which in this case is 77,500. Uh, 750. This is the uh, base that is 50. As you can see this is 50 so this would also be 50. So uh, the other value is 30 and 60 which means that it is equal to 30. So uh, 30 into 50 divided by 2 is something we will do here and uh, this is what we have done the answer is this this is the consumer surplus i can also find out the area of this rectangle triangle that is a consumer surplus by using the um, simple formula of triangle i could have also done it by using the integrals but i haven't done so this is also a possibility we can find out the consumer uh, the producer surplus by using the formula of integrals just like we did in case of the consumer surplus the area in that case would be the uh, difference of the rectangle and the trapezoid so rectangle minus trapezoid will give us the area of the triangle and in this length into width will be used and in this the area under the curve using the integrals will be calculated. So this is how we can develop the formula simply by visualizing the diagram and we can find out the area of the triangle. The other option is that we can apply the formula of the triangle uh, area and here we have done the same. The foundation and the height the foundation or the base is the same that is 50 whereas the height is 10 because of the difference of 30 and 20. So 50 and 10 are the two values that we will multiply with 1 over 2 to get the area of the triangle. 
which is actually the producer surplus now we have found the consumer surplus as well as producer surplus we know about how we do it using the integrals but we have done it by using the area of the triangle formula now we can calculate the so, uh, social surplus or total surplus which is basically the sum of the two that is the consumer surplus and the producer surplus so simply by adding these two values that we found in the last few steps we will get the area of the or bigger triangle let us go back and see or we can make the graph here this was the graph so this was the consumer surplus and this was the producer surplus so we have now found the sum of the two that is 1000 that is the consumer or uh, the producer surplus uh, uh, plus consumer surplus which is equal to the social and the total surplus so by using the sum of the two surpluses we have found the total or the social surplus we also know about the formula using the integration and we have also done it by using the area of triangle formula and now we are capable of doing this that is to find out the consumer producer and social surpluses by using the formula of integration that is the definite integrals as well as the formula of the triangles Thank you.